Hello viewers, welcome to Diaspora Speak. It's Black History Month, this is October, right in the UK. And what's the best thing for us to do than to actually know how we can really promote our products from Kenya. We have NCBA Bank right here in the UK, doing amazing reaching out to the community in different cities. And we've seen them, so we thought it's about time we bring them on your screen so you can hear from them directly. So introduce yourself, tell us who you are, and then who is NCBA? Thank you so much, Janet. Thank you for having us on your show. My name is Rona Kabue, Head of Diaspora Banking at NCBA Bank Kenya, PLC. We are a bank that is based in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, and digitally in Cote d'Ivoire. In Kenya, we have 84 branches, and we are still growing, growing regionally. So who is NCBA? I've told you how nice and big we are. So who is NCBA? NCBA is actually a bank that's three years old right now. It's as a result of a merger between NIC Bank and Commercial Bank of Africa. Combined, we have 60 years of banking experience and we are a tier one bank. So meaning that we are actually one of, the biggest bank, one of the biggest banks in Kenya. Thank you very much, Rona, for introducing NCBA. And I can already see they also employ young people because you're looking very, very young. So what <laughs> services do NCBA offer? NCBA Bank actually offers um, corporate business. So when I talk about corporate business, we are actually bank um, um, businesses and companies and corporates that look to have a, a relationship with us. As a matter of fact, we have one of the biggest um, corporates in Kenya banking with us. We do quite a number of um, transactions and a lot of business with them. Um, from a retail perspective, we are a retail bank. Retail bank meaning that it's personal banking. And the personal banking is actually based on depending on where your income brackets are. So you, we have what we call premier banking, what we call platinum banking, gold banking, and gold banking. So that is dependent on where your income bracket sits and based on whichever um, tier that you sit in, then there's a relationship manager or the relationship is actually managed from that aspect. And the goal is to actually grow you into every tier as you go along. Not only that, we have investment banking, we have insurance, and uh, we have a whole, um, we have um, NCBA insurance agency. And more than anything, we're actually very good or known for giving competitive forex rates through our treasury department. Fantastic. Now, here in the diaspora, before we can even talk about what you're offering the diaspora, many of the diaspora are worried about charges the banks put into place. Is there you know, charges that we need to worry about before we can actually get involved? I really like that question. Here's why. Because the account that we actually offer diaspora banking customers does not have any ledger fee on it, right? So a ledger fee is a monthly fee on an account, regardless of if you use the account or not. So with our account that we offer our diaspora customers is that it has no ledger fees. And guess what? It also earns you some interest on it. So then why, 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 why would the bank do that? It's because your account in Kenya is not your primary account. When I talk about a primary account, it's an account where, for example, maybe your salary goes in there and then you're able to do various transactions on it. But we understand that because you're here, your primary account is probably here in the UK and your accounting uh, back home is for you doing your other transactions or your other investment options that you're looking to do. So we're able to give you an account that is able to take care of your needs. So when you put your money in there, you're not trying to, you know, <laughs> get, get some more out of it. But it's the point of your money being there is that so that we're able to grow it into, um, into various different investment vehicles that are actually beneficial to you. So why the diaspora? Why you have a lot of, you know, when I'm listening to you, you're in different countries in Africa. So why did you decide to reach to the diaspora? Because I know you've been to the U.S., such a good feedback from the U.S. Now you're in the United Kingdom. So why the diaspora? Um, the diaspora actually is a major contributor to the economy in Kenya, right? But you know what? There's the other thing that despite their contribution, there's so many other challenges that they're experiencing. I'll give an example. We have... I have dealt with customers who uh, were looking to invest back home in terms of property and building and putting together maybe a block of apartments, but they have third parties who have, you know, they've used them and eventually have lost quite a, quite a lot of money. So us as a bank, we have sat down and decided that we need to support this diaspora person to be able to invest back home and do it in a safe way that they're not feeling afraid that they will lose out on their investment. And that's why, like I mentioned earlier, that when it comes to construction, we are in the heart of it. We are in the heart of your construction facility as a banking institution, which is not something you find with a lot of other financial institutions. Why would we do that? We want to make sure that your security is safe. We also want to make sure that you're dealing with an institution and not an individual. 
So that way you know your money is safe, you know your project will be done and done to completion, and you know that any form of due diligence that needs to be done, the bank is actually able to do that. And that gives you the comfort that you require when you're doing your investment back home. So the point is, because you're already a key driver in our economy, how do we ensure that being a key driver in the economy is done in a safe and sound way that gives you the confidence that no matter what, my investments are safe, my money is safe, and I'm not dealing with third parties who are out to maybe make a you know, benefit from my very hard, and, uh, very hard hard money when I'm here in the UK. What is it you have to offer for the diaspora? I'll start by saying we provide solutions, right? So what do I mean by solutions? We provide solutions that have to do with your investments back home. I know a lot of Kenyans in the diaspora have heard about investing in property, and I know that's kind of been the narrative for a very long time. Um, we do finance. Um, Kenya's the diaspora when it comes to property. We have a whole property finance department and the property finance is different products. So products in the property financing is, um, for example, a plot loan. We finance you to purchase a piece of land in Kenya. We finance you to buy a house or buy an apartment, which is a mortgage. We will finance you to do a construction. So do you have an existing plot of land and you're looking to develop it? We do finance you for that. We also do finance to buy the piece of land and construct on it at the same time. So as opposed to buying the land and keeping it for a long time until the day you're ready to construct, actually we have a product where you can actually do two in one, purchase the land and construct at the same time. But our number one product for the diaspora is what we call Easy Build. What is Easy Build? So Easy Build is a construction facility. However, in this case, we actually offer you or give you the opportunity to choose a consortium of specialists who will help you through your construction um, project. So these specialists have to do with um, maybe a quantity surveyor, the architects and the contractors. So you as a diaspora customer, you don't need to worry about that. You just choose from the, from the, from the, the team that we will recommend and they can either build according to your plans that you already have in existence or you have the opportunity to choose a plan from one of their many plans that they already have and will be able to um, facilitate the construction for you together with the team. And so that takes away the headache for you to keep wondering and worrying if my project will actually get to be done and be done to completion. So that's how we as um, a diaspora, we be able to support the diaspora when it comes to um, property finance. But that's not all we do. We also have other investment um, vehicles. So we actually facilitate and assist our Kenyans to um, invest in treasury bills and treasury bonds. We're able to support you on that. We also have various insurance products that are able to support you who is here and also to support your, your, your family back home. I'll give an example. So you have your parents back home. Um, you're tired of being told send money to buy medicine or send money to go to hospital. So we have a medical insurance cover that you're able to take up on behalf of your um, loved ones back home and all you do is pay a premium on an annual basis and your loved ones get to have a medical card and visit a, a hospital to get medical attention. So that takes away um, a third party intervention at all times whenever you need to take care of that kind of, of, of need. Um, over and above that, other investment options that we be also able to um, facilitate is investing in, um, in, in um, stocks um, through our brokerage. And we're also able to facilitate saving through our, our money market funds, which is where at least you can put in some money there and it's earning you some good interest. So, yeah. Wow, that sounds amazing. I mean, you have really done well in terms of planning what diaspora can uptake with you. Now, thinking about diaspora banking, because many of us, the frustration we have is the relationship between the diaspora and the banks in Kenya. A lot of us are taking what NCB are offering. We are opening accounts here in the UK like never before. What is it going to be like in terms of managing those accounts? Because many people, what they lack is that relationship where they can actually reach to the bank. So how will you make sure you stay connected with your clients right here in the UK? What differentiates NCBA from maybe other financial institutions is the fact that we are a customer-centric bank, meaning that service is key to our hearts. So um, we have a whole team that is set and their work is to take care of the diaspora banking customers. So we have a relationship management team and their role is to ensure that every customer in their portfolio is growing. That's what they're tasked to do, 
to grow their customers. So a relationship with a diaspora person starts from an account. The moment you open an account, that's where the relationship starts, but that's not where it ends. The relationship manager is tasked to ensure that at any one time that you're aware that you can actually grow your money back home and they're able to guide you and be your financial advisor of how to grow that, um, how to grow your own portfolio back home. So your portfolio could start as basic as with an account and then grow slowly and eventually into property finance, into investing in treasury bonds and bills, into, in, into our insurance products and many other things. So at the end of the day, um, your relationship with the bank is to grow you and to actually have a portfolio that's actually adding value to you. Um, we actually look at the fact that you're, you're here, yes, and you may have children here, but what are your children going to take from you? While, well, I mean, what are they going to inherit from you while you're away or with the day you're not there? And so the kind of portfolio will grow. It's not just for you, but it's also for generations to come. We start with small steps, baby steps, and grow you as we go along. And how is the communication? Like if somebody really wanted to communicate with you, are you online, are you visible? Is that available? Yes. So again, like I mentioned, we have our relationship management team that are available on call. They're on WhatsApp, they're on their phone calls, in their emails, and they're able to communicate to you. They are responsive and they're able to reach out to you. If your RM is not available, we have a 24-7 contact center that if you call today, there'll be somebody to assist you at any one time. But not only that, with our, with our account, you're actually able to transact on your own through our internet banking or mobile banking. So there's very little intervention that we, as youth bank, have to come in and keep assisting because the transactional aspect of your relationship with us sits entirely or most of it in, under internet banking. So you want to move money from your account here to an account in a different financial institution, you're able to that, do that by yourself. You, you need to pay somebody um, who's in Kenya, um, M-Pesa, for example. All you do, again, log into internet banking or mobile banking, and you're actually able to send the money to them. So our intervention as human intervention is not as much, right? Because most of your transactions are within the, the channels that we've already provided. However, still, if you want to have a conversation of how do I start my investment journey, what do I need to do, what do you look at, then the relationship manager is at hand to be able to assist you with that. Fantastic. That sounds like something that everybody should uptake because that is where the drama is. When you can't get to contact your bank, you can't get to invest. So I'm glad that NCBA has really put a lot of work into building an aspect of good communication. Now, going to the place where we are all worried about, again, is... The documents. Many people worry that you know the security of the documents. What happens? Should I give my passport? Should I do? What documents are you requiring the diaspora to have? And so, as anybody who's listening to me, you know that as long as you're Kenyan, you can open an account. So, what document? Do you, and are the customers' uh, security with the document, uh, or are the documents secure with NCBA? Okay. Thanks for that question. So, like I said, a relationship at NCBA starts with an account. So, how do you open an account? One, you fill out a form, which you can share that with you. Then you provide a copy of a Kenyan national ID, your KRE PIN certificate, a document that um, indicates um, your physical address here in the UK. So that could be a copy of your driving license or a utility bill, a phone, water, electricity bill, and a pastel size picture. That's where it all starts. You asked about the security of your documentation. Number one, as a bank, we are we are tied to confidentiality in terms of the things that we are bound by, right? So co confidentiality in terms of safety of your information and your documentation is very key and very important to us. So I can guarantee you that indeed your information is safe with us. And no, it will not leak out because, again, we are tied to having the, to the confidentiality clauses that are in place. And it is very true because in the diaspora, if they want to open a bank account, that's exactly the situation. You really have to have your documents right for you to have that account open. So I, I'm glad. You, and as long as Kenyan, you have your Kenyan national ID, that proves straight up you're a Kenyan. So please, don't stay waiting for an account to open. You really need to do that one step to get out and actually access them when they're here. I'm so glad you're in the UK, so many people can access you. So there are people who cannot come to those cities that you're remaining with before your trip is over in the UK. So for those clients who would like to still open an account or who would want to create a relationship with you and they're not able to come to those small venues we've got remaining because many people would want here for a month. Yes, I know you can't have a month, but how do they come to contact with you? How do they open an account? Okay. 
Fantastic. I like that question. I know we're not able to reach out to very many Kenyans who are in different further towns, at, further towns from here. So you can reach us on, you can write us an email on diaspora banking team at ncbagroup.com. We will reach out to you and guide you on how to fill out the form, what to provide and where to, where to post them while we are still here. The best thing is that if you're able to do that before we leave, it's fantastic. You never have to, we will just take your documents as they are, we'll certify them and be able to open your account immediately. But then what happens if we have already left and you still are interested in opening an account or taking up another loan facility with us? We have various contacts here um, who are available at hand to also assist you. Um, you know, make sure that when your documentation is complete, the documentation comes to us. Please reach out to us on email and we'll be able to guide you on what to do. Superb. Now we have corporate clients and we have businesses that want to be part and parcel with this NCBA bringing to the ground. So the, what would you have to offer for the corporate clients and also businesses? Do they have a different account or do they open the same account? What, is the regularity the same? So talk to us about your corporate and also your uh, businesses right in the UK or maybe any other diaspora place that feels like NCBA is a bank for them. That's a really good question. I know we come off as just uh, maybe personal banking, which is again retail banking, but we do have quite a strong corporate bank. So we do have quite a number of um, organizations that bank with us. Um, some of the largest actually in Kenya bank with us. We do quite a bit of business with them. And yes, we do support corporates who are based abroad and are looking to also have accounts in Kenya. Yes, we have accounts that are able to do that. We're actually able to grow um, corporates from scratch. You know, we have a business banking unit that's able to handhold businesses that are looking to scale up. And again, the relationship starts with an account. So in terms of documentation, it's slightly different from a personal account, depending on how the organization is registered here and registered. It has to be registered also back home. So once the registration is done, then we can have a conversation on the type of account that works for you in terms based on where the business is at the time. Because you'll find that some businesses that are still start starting and they're still, you know, at baby step stage, then they have a different account from one that's already very much established and looking to maybe scale up. So their needs are quite different. So based on that, we have a conversation on uh, what are your current needs in terms of scaling up as a business. And based on that, then we're able to guide not only on the type of accounts that you have, but also the type of facilities and loan facilities that we're able to provide to businesses that are looking to scale up and do far much more. So the chamas and the sacos and all that would really fit in well with your corporate? As a matter of fact, yes. Um, I like the fact that you mentioned um, the sacos. We actually have a product where we're actually lending to sacos, right? That a sacco is looking to scale up. They're looking to invest in property for the members. Then we're actually able to support them in terms of, fi of financing to be able to acquire properties for the sacco members as a sacco. So again, those are some of the products that we're actually able to provide. Well, UK, we know we have a lot of associations, we have a lot of circles, we do have chamas that are meeting up and you've been asking for that solution. So this is the right time and the NCBA bank team is here. They don't have, you don't have to go to those uh, venues, you can also organize a one-to-one -one meeting as they are still here in the UK to make sure that you really get it right. It's always important for you to take advantage of what's at the ground. Many of us don't get to go to Kenya oftenly, so when we see the banks coming here to access us and to bring the product to us it's upon us to really take it seriously it's upon us to get from our comfort zone and reach out and do what we need to do which is reach out open an account ask the questions because many of you have a question don't ask me find the bank they're here the number is on the screen because they do have a UK number that they're using while they're here so for the remaining days let us engage actively viewers I know you've been asking yes now it's your time to engage we've brought Rona Kaboe she's here she's talking to you She's telling you about the products the banks have to offer. She's telling you about what you need to do. So it's upon us now. And I would like to hear after this your feedback because it's important for the bank to get your feedback about what they can do also better for you. But until you engage, you would never know. So finally, tell your diaspora just the last thing, the last statement from, you know, head of the diaspora banking, NCBA. Talk to them. So thank you so much for um, hosting us on this show, Janet. Much appreciated. And more than anything, I feel so at home in London. It's amazing. Well, it's a bit cold, um, but we, I mean, the hospitality is amazing. The um, reception has been amazing. And all I can say is thank you so much. And more than anything, try us. 
we are not cliche, we are not telling you things that don't exist. Give us a chance and we will grow you. Thank you. I liked that. They are not cliche. They are the real deal. And you had in Kenya the top tire bank in Kenya. What else are we waiting for? Until next time, viewers, you're trying NCBA.